Hey y'all, this is Joe from out here at St. Bernard Acres. Uh, it's Wednesday, December 16th, and another absolutely stunningly gorgeous day uh, for the middle of December. It's going to get up around 64, so I thought, you know what, I'll take my last vacation day and head out here get some work done in the house and I uh, brought some more stuff for my shop uh, when I get it built in the barn and I got out of here if this is uh, indicative of getting old I'm gonna stop getting old as of right now uh, pulling up the main road out here and then it dawned on me all the keys to the place <laughs> are sitting on my end table at home. I forgot to bring, I have no keys to get into anything out here. Uh, just an absolute waste. I could not believe that I would do that. But, oh well. At least I got a nice drive out here. And it's just such a perfect day. I wanted to check the trail cam because the corn has been eaten. And I wanted to see what we got on the trail cam. But to no avail. Holy crap. But I'll sit on the porch a little bit and I'll walk around and, you know, think about how good life really is. Uh, even though I can't get into the house or into the barn. And I was just, last weekend when we were out here, this past weekend... I was telling Gail, I'm just going to take the keys and leave them in the truck. Uh, I mean, you know, ideally I'd put the house key on my regular key ring and put all the other keys in the house there. But I'm just scared of that, you know, if somebody breaks in. Uh, then they say, oh, good, he left us all the keys so we can unlock, you know, the mowers and the ladders and the barn <laughs> the trailer they have a trailer to load everything up you know so I was afraid of leaving the keys out here and uh, I, thought, I got a little cubby hole in the truck I'll throw them in there and I just never thought twice about it so stupid me but I am going to enjoy it and I got some more stuff like I said for my shop when I build it and uh, one of them's another good heavy piece but I'm going to have to put it in the bottom of the barn and then later on come out here and we're going to have to carry it upstairs because uh, I can't get it up into the barn right now. But I'll show you what I got. A couple more pieces of the stainless. Uh, a little cabinet down there just needs a top on it. But this, this long piece here was uh, part of the conveyor and this sucker uh, is heavy let's see if I can flip it over um, but I figure that that will make a great shelf along the wall it's about eight and a half feet long maybe nine feet long uh, Looks like it might be a couple feet wide, but put some four by four legs on it, and that thing is as solid as it can be. Uh, so more stuff I salvaged from going into the the scrapyard, and another really good, heavy duty, nice pallet. Uh, I'll bring out here just in case. I ever have a need for it but uh, I'm gonna load this stuff down here now and uh, leave it in the bottom of the barn for the moment come out here later and pick it up I reckon ah uh, crap guess that's all I can do is hang out in the bottom part of the barn uh, 
Got a bunch of old lumber over here. I'm going to have to go through and see what I got. There's some big pieces too. <laughs> But let me get this unloading. I will let y'all laugh at me now for getting old and forgetting things. Well, since I had no way into the house or barn to do any work while out here, I did manage to sit on the porch and watch the birds um, as they would come to the suet here on our post. I guess that's now the suet post. Uh, they're getting their fill. And I saw a real pretty yellow bird with a red head. So, all of you uh, Autobahn Society members can tell me what kind of bird this is. Um, because we get some good ones out here. But I think they all, I had a whole, must have been a half a dozen of them at one time messing around with that thing. And I guess I got the camera out and they all got camera shy. Joe out of St. Bernard Acres. We'll talk to you all later.